Hello guys, today we will be talking about color in the UX UI context. So the first thing is understanding how the color wheel works. In the center of the color wheel we have the primary colors, yellow, red and blue. Uh, then the colors that you can create based on those which are orange, purple and green being the secondary colors. And in the outermost part of the color wheel, we have the tertiary colors, which is a combination of a primary color and a secondary color. Then a little bit of color harmony and color theory. These are basically pre-established rules that create color combinations that feel and work good together. The first one is analogous, basically colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Next complementary are colors that are on the opposite side of the color wheel. Then triadic are colors that are separated by 120 degrees basically three colors split evenly across the color wheel then we have split complementary which works by having one color in this case the yellow and instead of picking the exact complementary at the opposite side of the color wheel you pick the two adjacent colors to that complementary color and finally the monochromatic color harmony which is picking a main hue and then creating different shades of that color a quick word on the meaning of color there's basically two different theories about this in the first one you're gonna hear people talking about how different colors are associated to different things for example red is associated with passion or white with peace and the second theory is that uh, you shouldn't be too concerned about this because the meaning of colors change depending on the culture as a quick example colors associated with death so like for funeral dress codes for example in some regions of East Asia is white on the other hand in the West we use mainly black for funerals. Okay, now let's create a color palette. If you're gonna start from absolute scratch, I would recommend using websites such as Colors, double O, so I guess it's pronounced Coolers. To get some inspiration, you can find here some pre-designed color palettes or by tapping in the space key, you, you can randomly generate color palettes. They are already created with some form of color harmony in mind, but you don't have the ability to pick the color harmony rule on this. If you, if you like some of these colors, you can start locking them by clicking on the lock icon and you can keep tapping the space key to cycle through the other colors. Most of the time in the UX UI context, you're probably not creating the color palette from scratch. You're rather given some brand colors by your client. So in this example, if the client does not give you the exact hex codes, ideally they should give you the codes for their brand. But if you don't have them, you can extract them from some piece that contains the brand colors, like the logo. You can go here and start extracting our colors if you feel you have a very limited color palette and you want to expand it you can do so by using the color harmony rules so for this example I'm gonna go into this orange which is the brand's main color and I'm gonna grab the hex code then I'm gonna go to Adobe color and I'm gonna paste that code in the center value which has this icon which indicates this is the base color I'm gonna tap enter and you can select which color harmony rule is used to create a color palette based around this specific color. So you can go by complementary, triad, analogous. In this case, I wanna create something like an accent color. So I'm gonna go with complementary and I'm gonna grab this. You can see it basically grabs the opposite color in the color wheel. I'm gonna grab that hex code. I'm gonna go back into Figma and make it part of my color palette. A tip in here is to select your color harmony rule based on the brand personalities. So if it's something a bit more modern or more edgy, you can select rules like split complementary or complementary rules like this will create a more contrasting color palette on the other hand if you're creating a more traditional color palette you can use rules like analogous and this will create more cohesive less contrasting uh, color palettes for my next step i'm gonna start creating my neutrals most of the neutral tones you will find are based on the on an absolute gray scale from absolute white to absolute black with no hue at all but you can create a bit of a more interesting neutral palette if you base those on your brand colors so what we're gonna do is grabbing one of my colors in this case i'm gonna grab my blue and you're gonna go to the color editor and you're gonna change it's usually set to rgb i'm gonna set it to hsb which stands for hue saturation and brightness in the order of values 
and you can start creating your neutral color palette based on this color so the first thing I'm gonna do is bring the saturation down to something like 10 and then bring the brightness down to something like 10 also so you're gonna see I get almost a black color but it has a bit more of that color palette so it's a bit more brand cohesive than if I just grab pure black I'm gonna create 10 shades of my neutral palette I'm gonna drag this by holding option then I'm gonna tap on Control D to create my 10 shades I'm gonna go one by one adjusting the brightness so I get my color palette. Go to the color editor, make sure you're, you're in HSP mode and you're gonna start increasing the brightness by 10. So let's make this 120. There you have it, you can play with that as much as you want. You can bring down the saturation if you don't want the hue to show that much. There's also nothing wrong with creating the color palette based on pure white and black. I just like to do this to give it a bit more of personality. Okay, now we're gonna do this exact same process we did for the neutrals, create different shades of our primary and accent color. But in this case, I'm only creating five shades. So I'm copying this five times. In this case, what I'm gonna do is keeping our main color as the center one and I'm gonna create darker and lighter shades. For the darkest one, I'm gonna bring my brightness down to 20. In this one, I'm gonna make it 40. For the lighter shades, as my brightness is already almost 100, I'm gonna adjust the saturation to 40 and 20. It's very helpful to have different shades of your brand colors because you're going to be facing a lot of different scenarios throughout the design of the products where different color shades will help you create better usability and a better experience for your user next we're going to create our response colors these are more functional colors that indicate the user if for example something was a successful interaction or there's an error or of some kind for this example i'm gonna grab my orange and i'm gonna put it in here I'm gonna go back to my HSB editor so I have more coherence with my brand colors and I'm only gonna move my hue color to a red then I'm duplicating that and creating my yellow also by moving only the hue handle and once again to create my success state color in this case the saturation of this green is extremely high so I'm gonna bring it down a bit for my response colors I'm gonna create a darker and a lighter shade for each one of them A quick tip if you're working with a brand with some color like red, which is usually used as a response color for error states, what I would do to create an error state color for that brand is using a different hue of red. So you, you see this brand has a bit of a more pinkish red, so I would create my response color based on a more orange red, so something like this brands that use red or for example green which is also associated with success states it's gonna it's always gonna be a bit weird but this is like a quick tip you can use to work around that okay guys and that's our wrap for this video this is how you can create a complete ui color scheme that contains accent colors neutrals and response colors and different shades for each one of those and that's it for today's video please leave a like if you enjoyed the content and subscribe if you want to keep up with the channel see you in the next one